Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag? To say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Seeing people get killed for no reason, seeing people get treated unfairly, it's power, like people think they have power over certain people and they feel like they can just treat people any kind of way and that's not fair. Small rural towns tend to be forgotten because we don't have a lot of people yelling about the racial injustices. You know, it's a way of life. People are just used to it. People just ignore it and keep on going. Well, our younger generation said, no, we're not gonna ignore it anymore. We're gonna let people know it's happening here also. <laughs> Most people don't think we pay attention, but some kids out there are actually interested in what's going on. Like me, I pay attention to a lot of stuff. Cheerleaders took a knee out there on the field. During the national anthem. Well, I mean, what's going to be next? It's the national anthem and the flag now. What, what's going to be next? If they done it a different way, maybe uh, those people that don't like what they're doing would respect what they're doing. Every time I see one of his rallies on TV, he's doing a great job of bringing people together. And you got people that just like to keep things stirred up and they don't want this country to have good race relations. On the football field, we always say the team is only good as the 53rd man. That means your last man on the roster take it to this country or this county, you know, you're only as good as, you're only as rich as your poorest city or your poorest town. There's a big difference between the people who have and the people who don't have. There's got to be some kind of way we have to bridge that gap. I like to see everybody come together for once instead of always fussing and fighting. Maybe they actually take in what we're trying to say and listen and we actually all come together and try and make a difference in starting from here and just work our way up. It's going to take everybody, but nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to actually put in the work to get the outcome.